Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Charlie Gutierrez, and today we're going to be discussing how to send requests to a backend server on the same port as that received on the front end. So if we take a look at this diagram I have here, we'll see we have a virtual service that's listening on both port 80 and port 8080. We have a client on the left-hand side doing a couple of requests. First one is a get on port 80. Second one is a get on port 8080. Now, regardless of whatever port comes in, whatever port the virtual service is listening on, with the default configuration, we're going to contact those backend servers on whatever the pool port is configured to. In my case, it's configured to 80. So all these requests, whenever they get proxied, will contact the backend server on port 80. So this may be fine for some situations, but there may be other situations where, let's say the backend server is actually listening on both of those ports. Let's say it presents different data whenever you contact a different port. In that case, you probably want the client to actually be able to contact the server on the same port that it made the request on. So now how do we do this? Let's take a look at my lab and see. So here we are at the Avi UI. I have a virtual service that I've called Port Translation VS. We can see that it's configured similar to the diagram. It's listening on port 80 and port 8080. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pool. If we look at the configuration, we can see the default server port is 80. And we can see that my server is set to inherit that port. So whenever connections come in and are proxied to this backend server, it's going to contact the backend server on port 80. So now let's go back to the virtual service. And let's go ahead and send some traffic and look at the behavior. So right now we contacted the virtual service on port 80. We can see we got this page back. You reached me on port 80. Um, a thing to note is the way my backend app is configured is if you reach the backend server on port 80, you get this page. If you reach on 8080, you'll get a slightly different response from the API. So this is expected. So now let's try to reach it on port 8080. Okay, so we get the same response. So why is that? Let's take a look at the logs. So here I contacted the virtual service on port 80. We can see that when we proxy to the backend, we also reached port 80. And here I contacted the virtual service on 8080. However, that was still translated and we reached the backend on port 80. So now how can we fix this so we can actually reach the backend service on port 8080? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go to the pool that's tied to this virtual service. I know it's this one. I'm going to hit the pencil. I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm just gonna click this disable port translation and save. So now let's contact the virtual service again on port 80, same thing we were expecting, but now let's try 8080 one more time since that's been disabled. So now the response is different. Now you can see you're getting this, uh, I'm the port 8080 API. So this at least tells me that that backend server is now being contacted on port 80 because I know that this is a response that I'm expecting. But let's go look at the logs just to be sure. So here's the first request I made. I requested port 80, sent to port 80. And now here's that new 8080 request I made, but you can see now when it went to the backend server, we actually contacted it on port 8080. So now you can see really how easy it is to disable port translation. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'd also like to invite you to watch our other exciting videos in the application delivery how-to series.